Oh, yeah, you're, you're live outside Firehouse 11, where people have been continuing to also drop off donations and fla on flowers. How's uh, the firefighter doing tonight? We just spoke to uh, Brian Diamond's in-laws a short time ago. They traveled from Rochester, New York, to take care of his young children, ages um, 8, 6, 5, and 4. They are home taking care of the kids while their daughter, his wife, is by his bedside. We can report tonight that um, Diamond is recovering from his first round of skin grafting surgeries. He is in good spirits. Doctors were told giving him great care, trying to keep him as comfortable and as pain free as possible, but it is going to be a long road. His family members tell me he is among the most severely injured of the volunteer firefighters. The 43 year old, um, was in the basement, we're told, during that devastating home explosion in Sterling Friday. Diamond is a middle school English teacher by profession. He met his wife while they were both teachers at DC Public Schools before moving out here to raise his family in Loudoun County. Family members say Brian is indeed in good spirits. He can speak. He remembers every single detail of that night and has recalled and told his family members exactly what happened. They say the doctors are keeping him as pain free as possible. But as we told you, those injuries are very serious. Severely burned and uh, significant amount of surgery and and multiple surgeries to go through the whole process. So it's going to be a long haul. 30 days is what they're estimating for his stay in the hospital. They have meals arranged through March 21st so far, every night. And, and this is from the this is from the school, the school where they work, our school district. It's from the neighborhood, the neighborhood and it's from the their church. church. So <clears throat> that's it's just been an amazing outpouring of support. You couldn't ask for more. This community really wrapping their arms around the firefighters and their families. We're back here at Firehouse 11 where you see that flag is at half staff in memory of fallen firefighter Trevor Brown. We've even seen folks uh, dropping off flowers at the, uh, the flagpole as well. And we were just live a short time ago and a woman walked up and just offered some baked goods to the firefighters. This has been happening all day long. There is an organization here in Loudoun County that is kind of coordinating all of these efforts. They are the official source um, for the donations that will go directly to the firefighters and their families. It is the Loudoun First Responders Foundations. In fact, they say the funeral expenses for Trevor Brown have already been paid for. So we're gonna connect um, that link onto our website. So if you would like to donate and join the community here that has really wrapped their arms around these first responders, um, you can head to our website and get more information there. For now, we're live in Loudoun County. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. And this is what you, you try to find the bright spot in many of these tragic situations. Absolutely. And this is really what you love to see, the community coming together to to help those in need. So beloved, yeah. so remembered, and so enfolded, right, by all the goodwill of people from both in the community and out, Delia. Thank you for sharing that.